So after the great support of the first video with Sheffield United, I have decided to come back and do another five year rebuild with them, taking it to a total of 10 years. We left them in a great place, leaving them qualified for the Champions League. So let's go back to them now and see if we can take on the rest of world football. Let's see finally how many trophies we can win with Sheffield United. So we are back again with Sheffield United. We hit the light goal, so we're doing another five years and let's get straight into it season six with the transfers so on the outs we're saying goodbye to a hero a legend we've got gustavo hamer leaving obviously he is the star of the thumbnail in the first video he just wanted to leave wanted to play regular football so i let him go to leicester next out was dominguez he just wasn't happy didn't want to sign a new contract had interest in him got a nice fee of 56 million yeah, it helped fund the transfer window that we had. First thing we've got Mateus Cunha, got him in for 14 and a half million. Good signing. Then we bought our first uh, regen, William. Really good regen goalkeeper. Stats are amazing. Bought in Oliver Skip for a bit of backup at uh, DM. We've got Frank Kessie in, who's, uh, you know, he's getting on now, but he's. At a stage where he would help us a lot these are the tactics going into the season just want a bit more of attacking football see how it goes try something different just to start the new episode off and if we were picking without restriction this is the best team that we've got which is it looks a strong team but we'll see how it goes but yeah that's the team for this season and let's see how we get on at the end of season six Right, so we've come back at the end of Season 6, and as you can see at the top, we finished 10th. We've completely fallen off this season. I don't know, don't really know what's happened. I think when I came back halfway through the season, a lot of players were unhappy, and I think that could be the massive uh, factor in why we've not done so well. Obviously, Yamal's had a good season again, but it's not as good as he normally is. Uh, Eli's up there as well and Cunha my three attackers all doing well but the rest of the team not too great William uh, did not too bad for a goalkeeper but yeah we finished 10th but let's see how we got on in the rest of the competitions can't see how we did in the Champions League because I've obviously skipped too far forward yeah we've managed to win the FA Cup which is amazing lost in the fourth round to Chelsea and obviously we won the Community Shield which is good against Chelsea 2-1 and FA Cup against Chelsea so we've obviously won uh, played Chelsea a lot this season played them in all three of them competitions twice in the league there's five let's see how we got on in the so we made it to the knockout playoff and we got Man City and it's a tough game but yeah lost 5-4 on aggregate that is a little bit disappointing but we've managed to win the FA Cup that's got us Europa League for next season which is a competition we are yet to win so hopefully we can do well in that the finances ain't looking great at the minute we've only got four million to play with so we're probably gonna have to sell some players if we want to bring some players in the debt isn't looking too bad though we've only got 15 million transfer debt so we just need to actually start making money maybe that could start with winning the europa league next season but yeah that's how we did for season six quite disappointing hopefully next season we can do a little bit better be a bit stronger Obviously, all the younger players would have grown an extra year, so going to play around in the transfer window now, and then we'll see you at the start of Season 7. So we're back at the end of Season 7's transfer window. On the outs, Kevin Danzo's gone out. He just wasn't really up to standard, really. Next was Marco Canna. He didn't really want to sign a contract, so had to get rid of him just to make some money. Luke Thomas was nowhere near the standard. Rooney bargy has gone out for more game time because we're not really playing with wingers at the minute. And Noah, our goalkeeper, has gone out for 50 million. Nice little profit on him. On the ins, we've got Andy Robertson come in. Uh, obviously, his stats are still great, but he is 35. But hopefully, he can still play up to a good standard. We've got Hinkapi in to really strengthen up that defence because I think that was one of our weaker spots. We've got another Brazilian uh, regen, Ale, come in. He's got some very good mentals. He looks great. And we've also got uh, Lima as well, who's another uh, regen goalkeeper from Brazil. Wonder Kid looks great. 
if he wants to leave then we, hopefully we can just sell him on for a big big profit so far it's been a bit ropey lost on pens in the community shield um lost 5-2 away to tottenham not good beat villa 2-0 which is better and then obviously losing our next two games out in the carabao cup already um so obviously lost to tottenham twice already Play Tottenham and Liverpool twice. Lost to Liverpool 1-0 at Anfield as well. But looking at our uh, Europa League group phase, obviously we've got a couple of hard teams in there with Milan, Dortmund and Rangers, but the rest we should comfortably get through. So hopefully we won't have to play the knockout round. Hopefully we can actually win that and that will allow us to automatically qualify for the Champions League. This is tactic we're setting up with, very similar to last year, just going more attacking. And if we pick our best 11, this is what it shows. A all straight, uh, drop straight in there. So does Hinkapi. Uh, the next area we really need to improve is the wingbacks, I think. Uh, but we have got a lot of players that don't really want to sign a new contract as well. So I might have to look to moving them on like Van Heck and um, LaCroix as well. That's it for Season 7's uh, transfer window. And we're going to catch you at the end of the season and hopefully we've at least won a trophy and I really want to do qualify for the Champions League again. So yeah, we'll see you at the end of Season 7. Right, so we're back again at the end of Season 7 and as you can see we finished 6th in the Premier League. It says that at the top, massive improvement from last year, 4 spots up. So the best players for the season, Yamal's up there again, Mateus Cunha's had a great season as well. Just a shame he's unhappy. <laughs> uh, Eli's had a good season as well, LA's played really well coming in. Everyone pretty much all around had a good, good average rating, they all played quite well. Taking a look at the league. As you can see, we have actually qualified for the Champions League, so that probably means we've won something European. Arsenal stormed away with the league, 94 points. No one really anywhere near them. Uh, I gained a few points from last season. Still quite a lot of losses, but definitely better in the goal difference. As you can see, recent game winning 8-1 against Everton. So now looking at all competitions, we did win the uh, Europa League, which is something I wanted to do. It's a trophy we haven't uh, played in yet and we've won it first time of asking. We beat uh, Real Sociedad 2-1 in the final. Semi-final we played Florentina and just got through them. Quarter-final we played AC Milan and absolutely swept them 4-0. Round of 16 we had Girona and beat them quite comfortably as well. FA Cup we weren't managed to retain it, we lost to Arsenal. Didn't actually go on to win it, it was Man United who won it, but we didn't get to retain it this year. Knocked out in the third round of the Carabao Cup again. But yeah, that means obviously we're gonna play Champions League football next season, which is good. We really need to get some money in because the finances are looking quite poor. It's just, we need better income and I guess that's from the prize. That would be from the prize from Champions League because obviously we've won the Europa League and we actually got 20 million less than we got in the Champions League where we only got knocked out in the playoff round. So, But obviously that leaves us with a very small transfer budget again. Not surprised. Hopefully the team doesn't need too much playing about with but we'll see how it goes. That's it for the end of Season 7. So obviously we'll come back at the start of Season 8 after the transfer window. So we'll see you then. Right, so we're back at the start of Season 8. Just looking at the results so far, it's been very good. Uh, we've won every single game. Won this uh, Euro and South America club challenge 4-0. Beat Newcastle at St. James's Park. Beat Liverpool in the Super Cup on extra time. Beat Leicester 3-1 in the league. They did quite well last season. Beat Chelsea away from home 3-2. Late minute winner by Tammy Abraham back at his old place. And beat Southampton 3-2 as well. So we are conceding a lot of goals, but we're scoring a lot as well. So it's doing quite well. If we look at our Champions League uh, phase group as well, we have got a really difficult draw. So we've got Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich, Porto, Rims, Nice, Real Madrid, Bayern Leverkusen and Newcastle as well. Again, we've got another hard draw in the Carabao Cup. It just doesn't seem to want us uh, to go any further in that. Now looking at the transfers on the outs, Mateus Cunha has gone. He didn't really want to be around. I'm not surprised he's had a pay rise of 800k a week, but yeah, he didn't want to be here. I just thought I'd get rid of him. Morgan's Gibbs White has gone out as well for a decent price, nearly 50 million. 
he just sort of didn't play much. Obviously, we don't play a cam anymore with this new tactic, so looking more at bringing wingers in. On the ends, we brought this young regen in, just sent him back out on loan. Ibrahim Kanate was on a transfer list, and I thought he'd be a good player to get in to strengthen up the, the back line. Jeremy uh, McAllister, another regen, I thought, at left back, he had a release clause of 27 million. So I thought I'd bring him in, and he, he played quite well so far. And the last one, Mudrick. We have brought in Mudrick. Um, it could be a bit of a surprise, but to be honest, his stats are pretty good. Um, he has done actually really well so far. Got two goals. He's got an average rating of 7.45 in four games in the league. So I think he'll be. He would play very well for us and as he has so far so we have reverted back to the 4-2-4 got rid of the cam uh obviously it has worked quite well for us so far and if we pick best 11 without restriction this is a team that comes up and it's a very strong team now with all the younger players growing Bargy's come back in now we're using wingers Yamal's actually gone up front William probably one of the best goalkeepers in the world now stats have really really improved massively as you see he's had a lot of ones go up in a lot of areas it, it, obviously he was really good before i even got him but yeah he just looks sensational but yeah that's it for season eight uh we're gonna simulate to the end of the season now hopefully we can do a lot better in the league as we've started off with four wins it's a positive sign if we can finish in a top three Maybe then we could push for a league title in the last two seasons. So we'll see you at the end of season eight. So we are back at the end of season eight. And massive, massive, massive improvement this year. We've finished second. Got 90 points as well. Only three off the title. Which is mega, mega improvement. Really good goal difference as well, 56. Obviously, Arsenal are just flying. They've got an absolutely insane squad. Obviously, Saliba is going to be great. Alfonso Davies, Jao Neves, Declan Rice. And now checking out the other competitions. We've done the domestic double. We've won the FA Cup and the Carabao. So Carabao is another uh, trophy ticked off. One that we've won now. Won the Super Cup as well, which is good. We played Liverpool in the final, beat them in extra time. Got knocked out in the semi-final of the Champions League, which is pretty good for a second year in the Champions League. Just weren't too much of a bad loss to Barcelona. Barcelona went on to win it as well. Looking at the player stats, uh, Yamal had a great season. 42 goals and 18 assists is incredible. And as we can actually see, he actually won the World Player of the Year. Checking out the milestones, yeah, he won World Football of the Year and World Player of the Year at Sheffield United. Massive, massive. Yeah, obviously he's amazing. He's done so good. Finances again, obviously, <laughs> although we got quite far in the Champions League, did not go up at all. Player wages being a main problem. Obviously, transfer expenditure as well. Maybe might need to not look at signing anyone this season. Loan repayments and interest as well. That's quite a lot for this season. 27 million, so that's probably not helping us at all. But yeah, that's it for season eight. Really impressive, really strong season. Won actually four trophies if you include the pre-season ones, including the Super Cup and the South American Challenge one. And we won both the domestic cups as well. Hopefully soon, as we can see there, 90 points. Hopefully next season take that another level above. Somehow we've got to break Arsenal down because they are just very, very good at the minute. And maybe we get a bit further in the Champions League as well. Maybe make a final or win it. So yeah, that's it for Season 8. And we'll see you at the start of Season 9. Right, so we're back at the start of Season 9 now. It's been a long journey. We've had a good start again. Batted everyone in the friendlies. Beat Arsenal in the Community Shield on penalties. Three pretty good wins. 3-0, 3-1, 1-0 against Brentford. And then massive win, hopefully for the, for, massive for the title towards the end of the season. 3-2 against Arsenal. So looking at the transfers that we uh, made, obviously, as we know, we didn't have a lot of money, but we were able to make some sales just due to people, again, not wanting to be at Sheffield United for some reason. Um, so first we've got Aeol, who obviously is a better one of the better players, but for the formation that we are using, 
due to it being so successful uh, he couldn't really fit into the team so he was let go rb leipzig 20 million and 50% salon clause as well just in case next frank kessie left uh 34 years old obviously deteriorating a little bit his stats are in the especially the physicals going down a lot um he had offers from saudi and obviously he wanted to go because of the money and yeah it was time to freshen up that midfield a little bit anyway maybe another one we let out was uh, another young so we got him in last season loaned him out and then i was sort of looked at him didn't think just because of the height maybe didn't think too much of him and then let him go um made a little bit of a profit on him helped us with our transfer window uh, maxine lacroix another player who wanted to leave if that's what he wants to do that's what he wants to do he served us well but obviously he was getting a little bit older and he was going to run down his contract so cash in him on him while we could and the last one a little bit sad about because obviously he's been in the squad for a while he's a very good player as well um onana he didn't want to stick around unfortunately so had to let him go real madrid came in obviously he's going to want to go he's going to run down his contract so got 55 million for him so our first player in was so our first player in was uh this regen brazilian from from brazil <laughs> nice and tall six foot six decent pace jump and reach obviously good composure is very good leadership off the ball mentors are very good a little bit disappointed with the passing but 17 finishing and he only cost us 14 million which is an absolute bargain next in from the same club santos we got a Brazilian regen, uh, just pay for his release clause again. He's uh, a defensive mid, obviously, to help uh, bolster the squad there, as we lost a few players there. His mentors are very good. Uh, physicals are obviously very good. Again, not very good at jumping at five foot six, but that's fine. And hopefully he'll grow a little bit, but he's a, he's a good name. He's a good player as a backup. Next again, another CDM, obviously, because <laughs> we literally lost basically our whole uh cdm line got seawold we've got him from Bayern munich he was on the transfer list obviously in his biography it says he's truly one of world's global global stars so that's good he's an elite midfielder 30 years old mentals are very well-rounded physicals are very well-rounded he's just really well-rounded all around we got him in for 52 million not too bad but hopefully he will play well for us which he has so far and last in couldn't couldn't turn it down he was on the transfer list enzo fernandez he is obviously one of the better midfielders in the game he's four and a half star reputation he's four and a half star ability as well according to my uh coach obviously technicals in all the right areas are very good and obviously can tackle as well as playing forward vision is excellent off the ball is excellent composure is excellent and then his physicals as well are also very good the tactics are staying the same obviously it worked quite well last season hopefully just with this bit of added quality we've got and it could take another step forward and if we pick our best without restriction this is the team that shows up obviously mudrick is injured at the minute i think he's out for another two to four months so instead it will probably be uh lamar that goes there and then vinicius goes up front which is quite good yeah i'm really happy with the team hopefully like i said this season just go one step further yeah i'm really happy with the team hopefully like i said we just go one step further like i said i'm really happy with the team at the minute started very well five wins out of five in the games that count um hopefully this season we could just take it one step further i know we had 90 points last season and didn't win the league hopefully arsenal can drop off just a little bit or we can just slightly improve and then champions league as well we made the semi-final last year so hopefully within these last two seasons we can win the premier league and the champions league and then we have won everything that is a been available to us as sheffield united so yeah that's it for the start of season nine and the transfer window and we'll see you at the end of the season So we come back at the start of season nine and we've finally won the league we've uh, improved by one point we've got 91 this season arsenal dropped off by 10 points which is obviously going to help a lot uh scored 120 goals only five losses all the way from home except from one massive finally we've won the league checking out the other competitions we also won the fa cup 
so that's a good double got knocked out in the semi-final by arsenal beat arsenal in the fa cup final as well beat arsenal in league to second and champions league it's i've gone too fast so it was c and we've also won the champions league come on we beat inter milan in the final 3-2 and we also beat arsenal in the semi-final so played arsenal in all four competitions they managed to knock us out of one but we beat them to the other three i guess we are now the third english team to complete the treble premier league champions league fa cup massive season finished it and we've still got one more season to go so we'll see how that goes we have now actually won everything available to us we the only thing we've got left it's the club world championship which will be in now so checking out the squad for the season yamal again massive average rating of 7.62 is really high 43 goals and 28 assists Vinicius, who we bought in for uh, 14 million, 30 goals and 15 assists, 7.3 being our second best player in the team. That is massive. Eli's had a great season as well, 37 goals, 11 assists. Rooney Bargi with 18 and 15 in quite a uh, limited game time as well. Even after that great season, the finances are still looking a bit rubbish, a bit better than they were before. But yeah at least we're still passing everything as you can see we have made 100 million this season so uh, this month so that has helped out a lot hopefully we won't break any financial rules but yeah that's it for season 9 obviously fantastic season hopefully we could build on it for season 10 and just pff, hopefully win the premier league and the champions league again and we'll see you at the start of season 10 so we're back at the beginning of season 10 we've had a really quiet transfer window we've actually spent zero pounds <gasps> uh, brought in curtis jones and tomori in on a free from last season and we've let go of tammy abraham and canate had some interesting games so far <laughs> just want to look at a friendly beat phd 9-3 which is pretty crazy uh won the community shield on pens a couple of wins in the premier league and then obviously a big 5-1 loss away to brighton after beating them 4-1 in the super cup and we've advanced as well in the carabao cup taking a look at our champions league phase we have got some quite hard games but luckily the more tougher games are actually at home hopefully we can retain the champions league after winning it last year tactics are going to stay the exact same this is the best 11 if we pick uh without restriction which actually puts jamal at right wing which hopefully he doesn't play because he actually plays very well as a striker but yeah that's it for the start of season 10 it is the last season we have currently won everything so haven't really got any expectations for this season hopefully we, we can retain either the champions league or the premier league but yeah we'll see you at the end of season 10 and at the end of the rebuild so we are back at the end of season 10 and we have gone back to back in the premier league we've won the premier league again dropped off a little bit in points but so did arsenal won it two times in a row now which is massive 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 for the club and in the other competitions as well we can see we have won the champions league as well the carabao cup super cup community shield but not the fa cup missed out on winning it all on the fa cup lost in the fifth round to aston villa and then brentford went on to win it against liverpool missing out on the fa cup is slightly disappointing but obviously phew, we've done amazingly in the other competitions won the premier league again won the champions league beat inter in the semi-final who we beat in the final last year beat Bayern munich in the quarters and then have florentina in the round of 16 in the league phase we did really well got seven wins out of eight only losing one to Inter Milan as well. Yeah, absolutely smashed it. As you can see, we've still got the Club World Championship to play. So I'm actually going to simulate a little bit further. I just wanted to capture all this. And then we'll come back after the Club World Championship. And if we then do win that, we have won everything possible. Everything available to us. But it's the first time and the last time entering it. So let's see how we get on. So we have come back after the Club World Championship and we have actually won it against Tottenham, which is a surprise to see them there. Graham Potter is the manager as well. Beat PSG 1-0 in the semis. Beat Real Madrid 5-2. Beat Al Nasser 5-1. And then in our groups, we scored 14 goals as well, winning all three games. We have actually lost quite a few of our players. 
So this is the squad we've got left, quite a small squad. But if we just pick out a few players, Yamal last season got 30 goals and 21 assists. Eli got 37 goals and 11 assists, very good return. And Vinicius got 35 goals and 9 assists, so very good return from them three. If we look at the club vision, we are actually now the most reputable team in the world. And we are the biggest club in the world as well. And quite rightfully, I've gone down as a legend at the club along with Yamal and Vinicius going down as icons so yeah that's the end of the Sheffield United rebuild uh, we actually spanned over 10 years we managed to win absolutely everything available to us taking a look at the leaderboard this allowed Sheffield United to go top winning 12 major trophies across the 10 seasons obviously they did have more seasons than my Chelsea re rebuild but they still win more so they are at top of the league yeah it was a great real rebuild had a lot of good players thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like and subscribe if you want to catch out more uh, football manager rebuilds and that is it for this video and we'll see you in the next one